Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Pravin Kumar Sriram. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Author and Working as a Solutions Architect on Azure and Azure DevOps. In our previous video, we have created a Hello World basic pipeline. Today we are going to learn more about pipelines and some of the most important components of the pipelines. Let's start. Azure pipeline is nothing but a set of steps. Those are also called as tasks. Each step or a task performs some kind of action. In order to perform some action, the pipeline must run or execute somewhere. In order to run a pipeline, we need an agent. And now what is agent? Agent is nothing but a computing infrastructure. In simpler terms, it's a server, which has all the softwares that are required for the agent, which can be used to run one job at a time. To be more specific, it executes one step at a time. Now, Azure Pipeline can work with any runtime stack or any language like C Sharp, Java, Node.js, PHP, and many more. Azure Pipeline can work with multiple environments like Windows, Linux, and even Mac OS as well. And Azure Pipeline can take input from multiple places. The input in general is code or source code. That could be hosted in Azure DevOps repos, GitHub, Bitbucket, and many more. Azure Pipeline can work with Azure or any other cloud vendor or even in on-prem. So Azure Pipelines can be used to deploy code to all these various environments. Now let's understand the architecture of pipelines. Let's say this is our pipeline, which can optionally contain a stage or multiple stages. Here in this, I have stage one, which has one job. It can contain multiple jobs as well. Now each job might contain steps to be more specific, tasks. In this diagram, you see, Job 1 has task 1 and task 2. Similarly, job 2 has task 1 and task 2. So this task could be anything. Okay. So the pipeline has one stage and this stage has two jobs and each job has two tasks in it. Similarly, there could be additional stages which could internally contain multiple jobs and each job could contain so the architecture is pipeline, which contains multiple stages, and each stage could contain multiple jobs, and each job could contain multiple tasks. So that's the architecture of Azure DevOps pipelines. So in this video, we have learned about the pipelines and its architecture. There are few more components of pipelines. We'll learn about them in our upcoming videos. That's it for this particular video. In the upcoming video, we will start learning YAML and we will also start creating Azure pipelines using YAML. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free, free to provide comments if you have any feedback. Thank you.